patients have been going to the dentist to have a tooth filled for centuries. Over time, the restorative materials have changed, but one type that continues to be a strong choice is amalgam. Amalgams or silver fillings have been used for over 150 years. Some critics have claimed that amalgams are unsafe. This is not true. And they have no proof of that at all. As a matter of fact, there is tons of proof showing that they are causing heavy metal toxicity in Americans. The level of mercury retained in the brain, the heart, lungs, liver, any of the tissues they tested correlates more with the number of dental amalgams than diet. That makes sense. Breathing it every day and 80% of it being absorbed by the body, how could it not increase the mercury level in your brain? Mercury has a half-life in the brain of over 27 years. And that's the reason breathing vapors, like they come from amalgam fillings, is so toxic. Mercury, and only mercury, causes the breakdown and the depolymerization of tubulin off of the neural fibril, producing neurofibrillary tangles, which is the hallmark of Alzheimer's disease. We release uh, many, many micrograms of mercury per day into our bodies, which could, you know, cause the effect. So you not only have a toxin that can do the effect, you have it placed within inches of your brain. You would at least would have to say that exposure to mercury would be an exacerbating factor for Alzheimer's disease because it mimics all of the aberrant biochemistry that's found in the AD brain.